If you're like me, you've already figured out how handy it can be to have a multi-tool with you for a lot of tasks. But if you're like me, you've also probably been a little frustrated at how maybe cumbersome sometimes they are to use. So uh, in today's video, we're gonna take a look at another multi-tool from the folks at Gerber. We're gonna take a look at the uh, Center Drive Plus, as you can see, one hand opening. And what makes this so cool is it gives you the ability to uh, have a center drive screwdriver so you're not offset and, and a lot of other features too but we're going to take a closer look at that coming up next here on survival on purpose welcome back to survival on purpose your home for trustworthy information and gear reviews related to camping survival and general preparedness for regular folks my name is Brian. Thanks for joining me on a slightly nippy and windy day here in Georgia. The folks at Gerber Gear were kind enough to send me one of their center drive multi-tools so I can show it to you. And we are going to take a closer look at this thing because it is pretty cool. But first, I just want to go ahead and say a big thank you to the folks at Big Daddy Unlimited because like always, this Sharp Saturday video is sponsored by Big Daddy Unlimited. And as you can see, I'm sporting a really cool Big Daddy Unlimited vest here. Uh, I just had a recent visit down to Gainesville, Florida, those guys last week, and I learned some things that I didn't know about, about them, which make, in my opinion, a membership even more attractive. Real quick, if you're not familiar with Big Daddy Unlimited, they're a membership buying club, which allows you as a member to, to buy things that go bang, things with blades, and all sorts of, of, of cool outdoor gear at literally dealer pricing. And they do that because they're a membership site so they can sell stuff at uh, the lower than the minimum advertised pricing that a lot of manufacturers have to, a lot of dealers have to adhere to, which is cool. But I also learned a couple other things. First of all, every member of Big Daddy Unlimited is considered a VIP member. So if you have a question about, about gear of any kind, or you just need help making choices or decisions, you can give them a call as a member and they, they have some really knowledgeable people. I say they have nerd level knowledge. I'm serious, those people, they are really experts at their subject matter and they can help steer you in the right direction and help you make maybe not make the wrong decision. And in fact, if you're a member and there's maybe there's something that you don't see on their site that you're interested in, they can sometimes maybe have the ability to even go out and source it for you. And speaking of if you don't see stuff on their site, something else I learned was, uh, like everybody else right now, uh, if your outdoor gears, are, and especially anything related to preparedness, is, is really, um, it, it goes out of stock very quickly. So if, if you see something on their site, that, that maybe shows out of stock, go ahead and click on it. There's a little notify me button. Be sure and click that notify me button because their system is, is set up so that when they do receive that in, they automatically send those emails out real time. So it gives you a chance to jump on it and get what you're looking for. And if you go to survivalonpurpose.com slash BDU, you can get your first month's membership for 99 cents and you'll help support the channel and you'll help support uh, Second Amendment rights organizations and you'll save some money. So uh, thanks again to the folks at Big Daddy Unlimited for sponsoring these Sharp Saturday videos. Okay, so that went a little bit longer than, I, uh, than normal, but I really wanted to kind of tell you the things I had to learn at my recent trip to Big Daddy Unlimited because I think they're pretty important and it just, uh, it, it just adds to the value in my opinion. So let's talk about the specs of this thing real quick. So first of all, uh, the closed length is 4.7 inches and the weight is 9.6 ounces and the open length is 6.6 inches. And you saw how easy that opened, just flicking it open. It's got a button here also, you can just, um, it closes with one hand too, just nice and easy. So there's two things that really, in my opinion, set this apart from many of the other multi-tools. There's some other little things, but the two main things are first, the one hand opening. I like that a lot. It's got this little button right here. You can either push that button with your thumb and just open it like, like that. And it's a little easier without gloves on. And you can close it with the same button. So if you're like me, when you're trying to use something like this, you usually got something in your other hand. So that really does make it really, really easy. And, and you know me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that pretty much every time because it's just a lot faster and easier. But it's not just the pliers that are one-handed opening. It also has a full-size three and a quarter inch blade which opens up easily with one hand and it's partially serrated because that seems to be the, the best all around combination of blade, blade styles. I know a lot of people don't like serrations. I kind of have grown to really like them to be honest with you. And, and there's enough of a, enough of a non serrated portion there. You can get some stuff done. I'm going to check that out in just a minute. And then the other really great feature, which is also by the way, one hand opening and it's easier with my left hand because it's on the left side, but it's a, uh, there's center drive, a bit driver and 
A couple of things that make this really cool. First of all, it's longer than most of the competitions, which are like down here. So that allows you to get into some tighter places with it. And B, if you'll notice, it's got this little curve here. If you'll notice that comes, I, I puts the bit in the center, in the center of your of your handle there. So instead of being offsided, trying to trying to get off, you know, it's just awkward to, to, if it's if it's on the side. That gives your tor optimal torque, puts it right in the center of your grip, like a regular screwdriver or bit driver, which I. I think makes a huge difference. It was definitely a revolutionary concept, in my opinion, when they came out with the center drive. So that's the, that's the two main things I think are really cool about it. And it, by the way, locks as well with the, with the liner lock. It's the, uh, the one hand opening and the center drive, um, both the length and the, the centerness of it. Centerness, is that a word? So instead of me rambling on about this and, and moving this thing around, I'm gonna try to uh, get you out of the sun and take you down to the old, uh, <laughs> the drum top in this case and we'll talk about all the different features of this thing show you what you know we'll go over the list and then we'll do some of that uh, multi-tool stuff okay one thing i want to show you that i forgot to mention i don't know why i forgot this if you can see what it says right there if i can get that where you can see it uh, if you can't see that it says made in the usa and this thing is also features a berry compliant made in the usa leather sheath which is really nice and the sheath has the extra little little bits in here and we'll talk about all this stuff in just a minute so let's just go over the entire list of stuff that or features that this thing has so we'll open it up first of all you notice that it's spring loaded i like that because that way you don't have to open it up um, you know so that's just another little added feature it's spring loaded features standard pliers here and some nice needle nose pliers here and those things are look at the mating on those they are really, really, they mesh really solid together there. A little off center there, but that's just, there's just a little bit of movement there. But you can see they are really, really tight. You can pull, you can, you can, you can plug a hair with those. Another thing I really like about these, you can actually rotate these little carbide wire cutters. So you don't have, you, not only they're replaceable, but they're rotatable. So when one side wears out, you pop them out and you rotate them and put, a, put another one in, swap them around. So that's pretty cool, I think. We, we already showed you the blade, but we'll show you that again. It's a 3.25 inch blade. Then we have a magnetic center drive bit holder. And I, I didn't mention that, but it is magnetic, so that's cool. Not this thing, they won't just fall out of there. I'm wearing these gloves because my hands are cold and I'm not used to wearing gloves, to be honest with you. I should be wearing, these are good gloves, but I'm still not used to it. So open that up. There's a little extra bit holder here and it pops out like so. So, so you can put your two most used bits in your tool itself. And it also has a little ruler right here with centimeters and inches. I don't know how much use that is, but it doesn't hurt to have it there, right? Let's see if I can get you out with the gloves on. Got a two-sided file. It's both a cross cut and a regular file. We're going to check this out in a minute. And all those, by the way, they lock. So the way you unlock them is you pop this little thing down here. Really easy to get to. It's got a big knot on it with your finger. Pop that down and it locks back up. Um, next we have a... Uh, man a wicked 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 sharp all that sucker Woo. i mean just look how sharp that is that is stinking sharp that would put some holes in some stuff i will put that back down before i stick before i put a hole in my finger with it because this is like an accident waiting to happen for me trying to do a video especially with these gloves on uh, next we have a tool i've not seen on a multi-tool before it's a little tiny pry bar and a little nail puller. Now you're not going to pull 16 penny nails with this, but if you're working on a small project, you can pull some nail, you know, little trim nails or something that would get it done. And a bottle opener, which is pretty cool. And then uh, one more thing, which was an improvement to the original center drive, a pair of spring loaded scissors. Um, so that's pretty cool. Just pop them out like that. And they're spring loaded. I like the spring loaded scissors because you don't have to fool with them as much. They, they open up pretty easily. So there's that. We'll pop that down out of the way. We're going to check all these out in just a minute. And then there's a lanyard hole on that little lock. Let's take a look at the uh, bit set that comes with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve extra bits. There's a uh, number one, they call it a cross bit, I call it a Phillips head. Number one Phillips head, a number two Phillips head, a number one square bit, and a number two square bit. So those are really found in a lot of cabinets. If you're working on cabinets or have to fix your cabinets, those you'll, you'll need those. It has a number 10 Torx bit and a number 15 Torx bit, as well as three different sizes of flat bits, screwdriver bits, a 532nd, a 732nd, and a quarter inch. And then there are three different sizes of hex bits on the end. There's a uh, 964th, a 532nd, and a 316th. So there's that. And then what's cool is it's got a little handle on the end of this rubberized 
bit holder that fits right in the front of the uh, sheath, like so. Just slides in there, and then the tool goes in like so, and it snaps like so. There we go. It's got a nice little belt loop on the back, so pretty handy if you ask me. Okay, so that was the uh, basically the specs and all the features of this thing. A couple of comments before we get to doing some of that uh, multi-tool stuff. So first of all. I like the fact that this thing, this it all goes together in this nice little pack here. You don't have to have a separate, separate way to carry your bits. I'm not sure where they came up with some of the sizes for these bits. I mean, the hex bits are 964, so 5 30 seconds, and 3 16 uh, Maybe those are common, but what's cool about it is um, any any quarter inch bit will work. Just to show you what I mean, I've got just a, a little. I'm not sure what this is. It's some kind of Torx bit, but it's the one that comes with all the outdoor deck screws because I use those a lot. And let's just uh, show you. Matter of fact, those are pretty much all I use because Phillips head strip out so easy. You see it fits right in there, just perfect. And the magnet holds it. It's really cool. So my point being that you can, uh, you can customize this with whatever bits you normally would use. I would probably take one of those things out one of the square bits or the big old honking Phillips head that I never use out and put this in there. But I do like that it goes in here so well and it's got that nice little rubber tab on it. So that's really the only, um, kind of the only criticism I would have of this thing so far, or at least prior to testing. So let's get to doing a little, little of that uh, multi-tool stuff and just see how well it actually performs. Okay, so what can we do here? I think the first thing I want to try to do is just go ahead and use this center drive screwdriver. And what I've got is I've got my deck screws that I really like these because they don't, they got that uh, Torx hole in them. They just, they hold better. They don't strip out as much. I use it a lot at work um, for fastening things because I just think they work better than a Phillips head. So I've got my bit, bit that came with the box of screws and we'll just uh, see if we can screw that sucker in Let's see if the center drive actually helps and to be honest with you this center centering up of the bit right here makes this thing really work a lot better because you can see i just got my hand on top of it like this and i'm just turning and there's no i don't have to keep adjusting my grip because it's off center that this thing works great more like a i mean just like a regular screwdriver so there's that but Suppose you had screwed a screw in with a Phillips head and now you're trying to get it out and it's all stripped out. One of the things I've had to do many times in my life is take a pair of pliers and, and screw, screw a screw out. And let's see if we can grip that thing good enough to get it screwed out. So yeah, it's screwing it. I mean, I hate having to do this to things because it takes a long time, but it's working. So that'll work, but what if you needed to uh, maybe let's see if the file. Let's try the. We're gonna try the file. Let's see if the file works. So I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna close the handle back so I've got a nice solid handle. We're just gonna try to see if we can see if we can screw a flat on. The, get a flat on the side of that. Maybe the cross grip. So this file is, uh, I, don't, I don't know what it's made out of. The screw may be, the screw may be harder than the file. So you're probably not gonna break out of a jail with this thing, but uh, maybe it's good for some softer metal. But I'm not gonna say this is the greatest file in the world. You're gonna probably have a hard time sharpening an ax with this. But to be honest with you, I don't know of any multi-tools that have a really, really like hard, hard, hard file. So let's see what else we can do here. How about, yeah, I bet this all gets it done. <laughs> oh man, would you look at that? Would you just look at it? So if you need a hole, it by golly is an all. So pretty good there. Let's uh, see what else we can play with. Just wanna do as thorough a job as possible on this thing, so. A little pry bar here. I don't want to tear up my uh, workspace here, but let's just see. So I don't have a nail to pry out, but you can see pretty tough there actually. Okay, so it did a pretty good job of beating up, beating that sucker up. Now, 
because it's kind of got this little I-beam construction there. So pretty nice there. All right. What's next? What's next? What's next? All right, we got some scissors here. Let's try the scissors. This is my, my notes. Okay, so is that pretty good? Not bad. Let's try the redneck sharp test with a knife. One, two, let's see. So, didn't, didn't pass the redneck sharp test. It's kind of sharp, but it wasn't redneck sharp. Let's see how well it cuts some paper. Everybody wants to see me cut paper. So, honestly, I think the edge could use a little bit of work. It's not bad, it's just, um, it's not redneck sharp. Well, that's kind of all the, all the, the, the normal features. But what about, um, well, you know how we roll here, so. What about some good old wood stuff? Even though this is not really a, an outdoors kind of tool, what the heck, you know? Let's see if it'll carve, carve some feathers. We'll try the fine edge first, the non-serrated non -serrated portion. And this is not the best feathering wood or curling wood. We've, we've had that discussion before. It's a little dry and crumbly. Let's try the serrations because I've kind of have had some good success making curls with serrations. A lot of people don't like serrations for woodwork, but man, they seem to do a pretty good job, in my opinion, of making some curls. So there's that now. And what should we do now? What if we had some fat wood oh ho, ho. let's just see what we can do with some fat wood here we're gonna we're gonna scroll on down into the serrations on that and see look at that see the serrations make some nice little fat wood group would you look at that that's nice right there what do you think about that isn't that pretty so i think part of the uh the lack of the tiny curls on this is just the wood so we've got that there it is cold. Something that's always good to do when it's cold is to have a little fire. So let's see, that doesn't have any kind of a sharpness there to it at all. That's really, really round. Uh, I don't think it'll scrape at all. Let's see. And I'm, I don't know if I, no, that's not gonna scrape. So let's try something, another, another part of the tool here. Heck, let's try this. Let's see if the back of this thing scrapes. Not really. All right. Let's try one more thing. Let's try the file. Let's try the file. Let's see if this will scrape some fat wood. Yeah, okay, the foul seems to be doing okay, yeah. So yeah, nice little dust, dust there if you look at all that. Well, you know the final, the final step here is, don't you? I happen to have, oh, the old Exotac uh, XL, Fire Rod XL. Let's see if this thing will strike some. Oh, let's see, look at it. So it's not the greatest striker in the world, but again, that's not what it's intended for, but it got the job done. Ooh, look at the win. Chuck Norris once stepped on a Lego barefoot. He didn't make a sound. Okay, well that was a hopefully reasonably coherent look at the Gerber Center Drive Plus multi-tool. And I gotta say, overall, I'm pretty, pretty impressed with this tool. Now, it's not perfect. I don't think anything is, but um, I think its, its advantages outweigh any potential disadvantages. And really, the only the only negative I saw on this was that the file is not really. It's about as good as you can expect from from most multi tools. But I think again, the advantages, especially of the one hand opening, I think that the ability just to do that is like light years ahead of of having to unfold with two hands to get your multi-tool out. 
It's the first time I'd ever really used one center die, to be honest with you, and I, I, I wasn't sure what the big deal was about it. Now I get it because it really does, because I can hold this thing up on the end here and use it just like a regular screwdriver. Um, it makes it really, really, really easy. And plus the, the length here changes the game considerably because you can, uh, if, you, if you're used to using a screwdriver a lot, so you can just hold it there and do that right there. And you can really, you can really get some, some pretty quick turning done. So I like that. Um, those, are the, those are the things I like the most about it. Um, the all rocks the house, obviously it is a really sharp wall. I kind of dig that little pry bar just for small tasks if you need to pry something up. Like just yesterday, I could have used this because I was having to repair a, a wall hydrant on, on a job I was on and I couldn't get the stem out. I was trying to pry it with two screwdrivers and this thing would have fit in there really well because I had a thick screwdriver. This would have probably made the job a lot quicker. So I should have taken it with me, huh? So. And I also, one more thing I really like about it, and I'll stop rambling, I like the fact that it's made in the USA, including this berry compliant leather sheath. Fits in there really well. It's a really nice package. I like it a lot, and I'll say that. It's a really solid tool. Um, it's got the uh, rotatable blades, wire cutter blades, which is another really cool feature. And also, I mean, I like the fact that it's got a full size blade on it, and the serrations don't bother me. I kind of dig them. So anyway, I'll stop rambling. But one more thing. I would like to invite you to uh, subscribe to my weekly email newsletter. I don't know if you've been paying attention to what's been going on, but most of the major social media platforms have really, really, really started censoring um, kind of conservative leaning content like, like, like is often found on this channel. So if you want to stay in touch, I invite you to go to survivalonpurpose.com slash subscribe. Sign up for a weekly email newsletter. So if YouTube ever decides to cut me off, uh, we'll be able to stay in touch and I'll be able to tell you where you can continue to watch the same content you're used to watching here on Survival on Purpose. So anyway, the, there'll be a link in the video description below, but just survivalonpurpose.com slash subscribe. So anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, once again, thanks to the folks at Gerber for sending me this so I can show it to you. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, my name is Brian. Survival's not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.